Autoimmune hepatitis is a chronic liver disease characterized by immune dysregulation, leading to hepatic inflammation and damage. The underlying mechanisms of this disease are not fully understood, and the current treatment options focus on suppressing the immune response to reduce liver damage. Combination therapy, monitoring disease activity, and managing adverse effects of immunosuppressive drugs are vital in the management of autoimmune hepatitis. In this script, we will delve into the various aspects of autoimmune hepatitis, from its mechanisms and indications for combination therapy to pregnancy considerations and treatment response assessment. Let's begin our exploration of the intricacies of this intriguing disease. Autoimmune hepatitis is thought to arise from a complex interplay between genetic factors and environmental triggers. It is believed that the disease occurs due to a loss of self-tolerance, leading to the activation of autoreactive T-cells and the production of autoantibodies against hepatocellular antigens. Dysfunction in immune regulatory mechanisms, such as impaired regulatory T-cell function and aberrant cytokine production, further contribute to the immune dysregulation observed in autoimmune hepatitis. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for developing targeted therapeutic interventions. The management of autoimmune hepatitis often involves the use of combination therapy, which typically includes corticosteroids and either azathioprine or mycophenolate mephetal. The rationale behind combination therapy lies in the synergistic effects of these medications. Corticosteroids provide rapid immunosuppression, while azathioprine or mycophenolate mephetal act as steroid-sparing agents, minimizing corticosteroid-related adverse effects. Combination therapy has been shown to improve treatment response rates and reduce the risk of disease relapse. Monitoring disease activity in autoimmune hepatitis is essential to adjust treatment regimens and prevent disease progression. Several clinical, biochemical, and histological parameters are used for disease monitoring. Liver function tests, such as alanine aminotransferase and alkaline phosphatase levels, can provide insights into hepatic inflammation and injury. Immunoglobulin G levels and autoantibody titers may also be monitored. Liver biopsy remains the gold standard for assessing disease activity and fibrosis progression, although non-invasive alternatives, such as transient elastography, are being explored. Methotrexate, a folate antagonist and antimetabolite, has been used as an alternative treatment option in autoimmune hepatitis. Its precise mechanism of action in this disease is not fully elucidated, but it is believed to inhibit lymphocyte proliferation and cytokine production. Methotrexate is generally reserved for patients who are intolerant or refractory to conventional therapy or as a steroid-sparing agent. Close monitoring for adverse effects, such as hepatotoxicity and myelosuppression, is crucial during methotrexate therapy. Managing immunosuppressive therapy during pregnancy and autoimmune hepatitis poses unique challenges. The treatment goal shifts from disease control to minimizing fetal exposure to potentially harmful medications. Corticosteroids are generally considered safe in pregnancy, but azathioprine and mycophenolate mephetal require careful risk-benefit assessment. Azathioprine is often continued during pregnancy due to limited evidence of adverse outcomes, while mycophenolate mephetal is contraindicated due to its teratogenic effects. Close collaboration between hepatologists and obstetricians is essential for optimizing maternal and fetal outcomes. Calcineurin inhibitors like cyclosporin A or tacrolimus are occasionally used in autoimmune hepatitis, particularly in refractory cases. Therapeutic drug monitoring plays a significant role in optimizing their efficacy and minimizing adverse effects. Monitoring trough levels, which correspond to the drug's minimum effective concentration, helps maintain immunosuppressive efficacy while avoiding toxicity. Drug-drug interactions and variable pharmacokinetics of calcineurin inhibitors necessitate tailored monitoring and dose adjustments. Although combination therapy remains the standard of care, alternative treatment options are being explored for patients intolerant or refractory to conventional therapies. B-cell targeted therapies, such as rituximab, have shown promise in certain cases. Novel immunosuppressive agents and immune modulating therapies are also under investigation, aiming to provide more personalized and effective treatment approaches. Corticosteroid tapering is necessary to minimize their long-term adverse effects while maintaining disease remission. Various tapering strategies exist, including fixed dose reduction and maintenance therapy. Individual patient factors, disease activity, and treatment response guide the tapering process. Gradual dose reduction with close monitoring of liver function tests and disease activity is essential to prevent flare-ups and ensure successful treatment outcomes. Immunosuppressive drugs used in autoimmune hepatitis may cause a range of adverse effects, including bone marrow suppression, hepatotoxicity, and infectious complications. Regular monitoring of complete blood counts, liver function tests, and immunization status is crucial. Early identification and prompt management of adverse effects are essential to ensure patient safety and treatment adherence. Assessing treatment response in autoimmune hepatitis involves a multidimensional approach. 
resolution of symptoms, normalization of liver function tests, and improvement in histological features on liver biopsy indicate treatment response. Autoantibody titers and immunoglobulin G levels may also provide an indirect measure of treatment response. Regular follow-up visits, including clinical evaluation and objective assessment of disease activity, are necessary to monitor treatment effectiveness and make necessary adjustments. Methotrexate's precise mechanisms of action in autoimmune hepatitis are not fully understood. Apart from its antiproliferative effects, methotrexate may modulate inflammatory cytokines, adhesion molecules, and immune cell function. Further research is needed to elucidate its specific targets and pathways of action, providing insights for the development of novel therapeutic strategies. Autoimmune hepatitis patients are often on multiple medications, potentially leading to drug interactions. Interactions between immunosuppressive agents, hepatotoxic drugs, and other co-administered therapies must be carefully evaluated. Drug-drug interactions can affect the pharmacokinetics and toxicities of various medications, necessitating regular medication review and adjustment. In conclusion, treating autoimmune hepatitis involves knowledge of immune dysregulation, treatment methods, and monitoring. Combining therapies, personalized monitoring, and managing side effects are crucial for successful treatment. Research is ongoing to uncover more effective interventions. Staying updated allows healthcare professionals to provide optimal care and improve patient outcomes.